Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add saturation in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can see an example on screen right now. As you can see, it just vamps up a video and makes it look a little bit tighter. In this case, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to recreate this. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is have your Premiere Pro project loaded up and you want to have a video track on your timeline. As you can see, I have a video right here right now. I've removed the sound and it's just a nice easy track of some like scenery outside of a house and it's just walking forward with the camera. So to be adding saturation to this, what we need to do is find our effects control panel. If you can't find it, simply come up to window and click on effects. And we're going to be searching in the search bar for fast and we're going to be looking for fast color corrector. What you want to do is grab this effect and you want to drop it onto the video track on your timeline. Line. From here, we're going to be looking for the effects control panel. Once again, if you can't find this, come up to a window and look for effect controls and your effects control panel will open up. From here, we're looking for the fast color corrector that we just added to our video track. And we're going to be scrolling down underneath our circle color wheel and we're going to be looking for the saturation effect. As you can tell right now, saturation is on 100 and that is the baseline saturation of your clip. In this case, if we lower this down, we're going to be noticing our clip is going to become more washed out and the color is going to be drained from it. And if we bring this above this, we're going to be noticing there's going to be more color added to it. Now, there is a max of 200 saturation, but honestly, for most cases, you don't want to go anywhere near this. If we look through this right now, the color just looks ridiculously unnatural. And honestly, it just hurts the eyes to look at this extremely bright green. For the most part, I wouldn't recommend going any higher than 150 with your saturation. Saturation. This kind of depends on the clip you're affecting, but usually I say the sweet spot is like under 150, but like 120 or 130, depending on your clip. Just a little bit of trial and error to see what works for you. In this case, I'm going to be trying 130 to see how that looks, and it looks much more natural. It still looks good. It looks a bit more vibrant than our original track, but the colors pop a little bit better. As you can see, there's some nice like greenery and there's some nice flowers and stuff on the actual video track, and they pop much better than they were at 100 saturation. Sometimes if your saturation like you're happy with the level but it still looks a little bit odd what you can do is add a brightness and contrast to your track and add a little bit more brightness and or contrast to play around with those levels to do this what you want to do is come back up to our effects control panel and we're going to be looking for brightness as you can tell we have the video effect brightness and contrast once again you want to drag this onto your video track and we're going to be coming back up to our effects control panel i'm going to be closing down the fast color corrector and underneath this you can see we have brightness and contrast so here i'm going to be adding a little bit of brightness usually one to ten will work here i'm going to be adding a two brightness and it just helps bring up the image a bit. And if you want to bring out the black tones, add a little bit of contrast, but be careful with this. It kind of takes away from your actual saturation. So there's a little bit of juggling around to see the effect that works well for you. And if you use all these in combination, you can really make your actual clip in Premiere Pro pop and look much more colorful and much better. In this case, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I don't think this image exactly needed brightness and or contrast, but it's really just an example to show you that this is something you can do that if your image just looks a little bit too unnatural, but you're happy with the kind of brightness levels you can simply add some brightness and contrast but anyway guys that's how you add saturation in adobe premiere pro it's a really really easy tutorial and it can really help vamp up your image but anyway guys if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel if you want to suggest any tutorials i should make let me know in the comments down below i'm also going to leave my paypal link down there if you want to support the channel of course there's no pressure if you can't anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace